What the fuck was that? Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J and Manchester United have lost 1-0 to Newcastle United at St. James's Park. What can I say? That was an absolute disgraceful performance from everyone out on that pitch except from two players. That really was embarrassing. To play that bad against Newcastle United, who were in the relegation zone before this match started, and are now out in the relegation zone, and are one point behind us. Yes, one point. We are 12th in the Premier League table after eight games. 12th in the Premier League. Two points off relegation. It's an absolute heartbreaking. It really is. Every one out on that pitch, except Twan Sebi, De Gea and Daniel James, should be ashamed of themselves to ever wear that Manchester United badge. You know, Fred in the midfield, again, dreadful, kept giving the ball away. Daniel James, he tries every time, you know, runs along the wing. Tries and crossing balls into the box, whips them in, does his best. Axel to Shaby in the defence, brilliant by the young lad. Absolutely fantastic. But it's just, how can you go to Newcastle United and play that bad? Yes, we've got injuries, Wambasaka out, Pogba, but there's no excuses. You earn good wages, you fucking get on there and you perform now, immediately. Show why you want to be at Manchester United. I mean, to me, two points off the relegation zone is an absolute disgrace. It's, seriously, the way we're going, it's just, the boards are to blame are not hashtag Ollie out, but you have to question its team selection sometimes. I'm playing one matter. I love one matter. Nice person, but he's done. You know, he just does not have the pace anymore. Ashley Young, in the defence, terrible, as always. You know, just offers nothing anymore. Manchester United need to seriously invest in January. Otherwise, I'm not exaggerating or anything, we are in danger of dropping out of the Barclays Premier League. A division we've been in for years and years and years. But we're in such a mess. There's no hiding from it. You know, the supporters again had up I even heard them chanting on the team hey, today at St. James's Park, we want Glaciers out, we want Glaciers out. Yeah, if you're listening, put the fucking club up for sale, why don't you? And get your ass out of the football club immediately. You're ruining such a great legacy at Manchester United. The club we love is turning into an absolute laughing stock and you're responsible for it. Dear me, my time following Manchester United, I have never experienced such a shit lineup in all my life. This squad is an absolute disaster and not replacing Lukaku was absolutely criminal. It was always going to come back to bite us. This season. Now, if you sack Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the board, you are cowards. Absolute cowards. Because what can he do with this team? This team is shit. Basically, just literally, they show no fight, no passion, no bottle at all. For example, like Wolves today at the Etihad. They went there. Set out a defensive formation to make it very difficult for Man City and won 2 0 at the Etihad. Yes, 2 0 at the Etihad. 
And that is a big blow, you know, to Manchester City's title hopes, which is an even more shit day because it means Liverpool remain eight points clear and it looks like it's going to be a one-horse race this season, which I want to see competition, but, oh, just can it get any worse as what it is now? No. So... I think bringing in another manager will not resolve it at all. I think we're just wasting our time, energy, if we decide to sack Oligan and Solskjaer. He needs to build a team. He needs money in January to bring in a clinical goal scorer. Because at the moment, we can't score a fucking toffee. We really cannot. It's an absolute joke. I'm embarrassed. I'm feeling depressed, you know. I hate this. I want to enjoy watching matches, but I can't. I simply cannot with this squad. It's depressing. It's downheartening. You know, yes, we got injuries, but you've got to perform. I mean, what a great goal by that Newcastle player on his debut. Well done to him. And his Bronger was playing out on the pitch and his youngest Bronger scored on his debut. Well done to him, but the defence just switched off, you know. He's allowed plenty of time to shoot and De Gea, absolute no chance saying that. He didn't have a lot to do in this game anyway, but it just shows you everything wrong in this squad. There's players in the team who should n not be anywhere near the first team. Marcus Rashford, they say he needs a rest, but it's people saying on Sky Sports, how can you give him a rest when we got injuries? You just can't. I definitely would have started Greenwoods, because when Greenwoods come on, we looks a bit more livelier. Harry Maguire, from that corner, you got to head that in the net. How the fuck did you miss that? Seriously. I like Harry Maguire, but come on, you should be converting that chance. Absolute disgrace of a mess. International break coming up now. At least I can have a couple weeks break from doing this. I literally feel exhausted, drained, depressed, pissed off, angry. You name it, you say it. Now, people say you may be having a rant... Is fake and that. No, it's called showing passion. Us Manchester United fans are very passionate about our club and we are seriously concerned where our club is heading. It's We're going into the unknown, but it's just shocking, you know. I thought last season was shit. This season, it's gone from shit to fucking shit. It's just unbelievable how we've fallen recently. Injuries don't help, but that's besides the point. If you play for Manchester United, you should be showing fight for that badge, man. Yes, the Red Devil. You should be angry, showing fire, showing passion. It's just... Oh, I'm ashamed. Absolutely disgusted. Anyway, I'm going to give my man a match to Axel to Shaby. The lad tried his hardest. He was absolutely fantastic. Right, I'll get on to the player ratings now. De Gea, I'm going to give a 6. Again, I don't think he had a lot to do. Darlot, 6. To Shaby, 8. I thought he was absolutely superb in that defence. Maguire, 6. Ashley Young, why dreadful, offered absolutely nothing again. McTonney, four, dreadful, did not have a good game today at all. Fred, four, kept getting the ball away, absolutely useless. Mata, four, Pereira, four, Daniel James, I'm going to get a seven. Because he tried. He was running across the wing. Trying to put in decent crosses. Something Ashley Young can't fucking do. It's just... Uh, his crossing is shite. And that free kick, what we had in the last minute. 
straight to the goalkeeper. It's like, don't you want to try and get a point or something? Dear me. And Marcus Rashford. Ray. Again. I don't know whether he's exhausted or not getting the stirring this. But dreadful. Yeah, one matter. Just not great at all today. So that's why I'm going to give him a three. Yep, I remembered every player because I got the lineup on the PC. That's the only way I can seem to remember doing every player rating. But anyway, I'm just absolutely pissed right off yet another weekend ruined by Manchester United. Let me know your thoughts of the game. Are you all in? Are you all out? If you're all in, explain why. If you're all out, explain why. You know, let's get a discussion going. You know, I want you to be involved in this as well. And as Edward or that in the Glaciers, just fuck off out here immediately. I've had enough. Seriously, watching this week in, week out, it's getting too repetitive now. It's repetitive. It's just exhausting, heartbreaking, depressing. Oh, you name it, you say it. I'm going to go now because... I'm just done talking about this. Sort your fucking sales out, United. Bye-bye.